What's good is TV Sound System, your truly selector hype. Make sure you click that subscribe button for more information, more updates on everything regarding sound system culture, especially here inside the UK. But this week, it's all about the man himself, Bujo Banton. Free at last, free at last. Bujo Banton is free at last. Now, if you're like me and you're a big Bujo Banton fan, this is a big deal. We've been following Bujo Banton since his early career in the early late 80s and then around about 1992 when he came out with his two major albums Stamina Daddy also Mr. Mention and let's not leave out we're talking about a Grammy Award winning reggae artist won himself the Grammy for the best reggae album down there at the 53rd annual Grammy Award so big up yourself Budjo Banton real 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 Grammy Award winner now again like I was saying if you're a Budjo Banton fan you know the whole controversy you know the whole situation but we're talking about the reason why he is free he's free right now back on Jamaican soil and what is next for Budjo Banton where does Budjo go from now so let's go straight into it me personally Big Budget Banton fan, I would want to hear music straight away, but we know that's not going to happen. I do believe that it's got to be family first. I think Budget Banton is definitely going to take the time out to just, first of all, touch down back in Jamaica, get some of that Jamaican food inside him, and it's family first. I do believe it's going to be about family, and I think he's really going to have to take the time out to really... Um, connect back with his family them I know that they was definitely supporting him throughout the whole of his uh, situation but being able to be that family figure again that father that that brother son etc etc family time is important for Bujo and one thing as well uh, in terms of him doing family and music as well we know that he's got his uh, son who's also a big producer, also he's got his artist, he's his son, who's a, um, an artist as well, who's coming out with some real, real good music. And I also do believe that as Budjo is gonna be landing on Jamaica soil, he's also a granddad yet again. So congratulations going out to you, Gargamel, on that achievement, respect. Now, if you've seen the pictures, and which you must have seen, there's only a few pictures that have been going out, a few little photographs been going out. I saw the picture of Budjo and I was like, wow, Budjo, looks he looks knowledgeable he looks like he's just gained a serious amount of knowledge and he's got something inside him that he's got to tell the people them he just looks so um i would say mature but he just looks like he's had that time that space to really reflect on life and he's coming out looking really really intelligent got the glasses on looking very look a bit grayer than, than, than normal but you know we've all grayed up over the years so he's still looking really healthy he's looking you know smiling so um looking fresh face you know what i mean got that beam in his eye so i can see that gargamel will definitely be on a mission for the rest of his career what that is going to be what that mission is going to be we don't know yet. Now in terms of music, Budjo could probably not sing again because he's got hits on top of hits on top of hits across all of the reggae styles of music, whether it's Roots and Culture, Dancehall, Rastaman Vibration, Ganja songs. Obviously you know that one of his latest or one of his last um, hit songs was Driver. And I think he has definitely got a catalogue where if he decided to, you know, just tour and do things with just that music, that catalogue alone, everything will be definitely good to go. But we all know we don't want that to be the case. We want new music from Bujo. And what will that music sound like? When you've been away for that amount of time, you get time to reflect on various situations. I mean, the industry's changed, the internet's changed everything. You know, it's no more seven inch 45s. It's all about streaming right about now. Um, I'm guessing that Budget Mountain is the kind of person who would be connected and still be trying to be relevant and see what's going on in and around the music industry, planning his crucial move and what he's gonna do to make big things happen. Now, if he does music, what I would like to see from Budget is him still continue that conscious vibe, that rash man vibration, that whole element of real authentic reggae music, which he kind of left us with, but still having that element of, you know, that dance or rugged style, you know, driver and certain other songs that he did in, in the past. I really believe that he can definitely become a forefront in the reggae industry right now. Can he make a change? Maybe. 
and we hope so. I really believe that Bujo is one of those people then who can definitely change the way how we listen to music, especially reggae stroke dancehall music right now. Who would I like to see Bujo work with? A lot of combinations have been out. Obviously, we're gonna be. I I, I can guarantee. I'm not even. I can I can only assume, but at the same time guarantee, we're gonna get a Bujo and Beres Hammond combination sometime next year. Let's hope for that, man, because you know Beres and Bujo have a great connection. They have a great partnership together. When they do music, they do music on a high scale. So, looking forward to that moment where Bujo goes over to Harmony House, sits down with Barry Sam and has that conversation and comes out with something that I believe will probably be one of the biggest, be one of the biggest hits for that year or that moment in time if and when they do release a combination such as previous singles and combinations that Barry Sam and Budger Banton has come together with. I'd also like to see Budger come out and really connect back with some of these 90s dancehall artists and kind of give them a vision to say, you know what, obviously the dancehall, the reggae, everything's changed, streaming's changed, YouTube's changed, everything, Instagram, WhatsApp, all these things are changing, but there's an element of 90s music where there's no leader and I think this is the time where Budger could come out, reach out to the likes of Beanie Man, Bounty Killer, Terror Fabulous, yeah, the list goes on and on and on, Mad Cobra, determined there's just so 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 many monster shop he's like crazy if he reached out to those 90s people and says yo we need to kind of get this music back on track you know and even start doing some maybe some tours with these get these artists and not to fuss and fight obviously if you're watching this video now there's been a little bit of a controversy between beanie man and elephant man squash all that man let's get these 90s artists and those artists who was killing it back in the um the early part of the 2000 to just come together and let's let's do this music thing proper I really would like to see that most definitely now sound system culture obviously you know it is this TV sound system now let's talk about the dub play situation is Budger gonna be doing dubs and if so how much is Budger gonna be charging for these dubs now it can go anyway it can really go anyway for me um, when you've been in, in, in that situation for so long, I doubt Budger's hungry. So I don't think he's gonna be coming out and and running into the studio trying to get as many dub plates cut just to try and make him money to feed his family. I think Budger's good, doesn't need to do that. But definitely the sounds them are gonna be hungry to be playing the first Budger Bantons. And who's gonna be playing that? That could be another episode. We could talk about some of the sounds of who have been representing Budja Banton from the beginning, uh, right the way through his situation, and going to be there for him when he comes out. There's a lot of sound systems who was there in the beginning. This whole situation happened. They distanced themselves, concentrated what was going on 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 the whole the, the, on the on the industry as it was, and then now Budja's out, jumping on the Budja Banton bandwagon. Yo, man, Budja free and this that and the other. Budger ain't stupid, so I doubt a lot of sounds will be just be getting Budger Banton willy nilly. How much is he gonna charge for these dubs? A man can only charge what he's worth or what he thinks he's worth. So if Budger's charging ten US dollars for a dub, it is what it is. If he's charging five thousand US dollars for a dub, it is what it is. This is the sound system culture. This is the industry that you sound man have paid yourself into. If anybody's saying, "Boy, I'm not paying the money for them Budger," they you know, then just don't buy the Budger. There's no complaints. There's no nothing. Budger is a man. He knows his own self worth. And if you know your self worth, then charge whatever you want to charge, me brother. Will Budger be able to tour? And if he is able to tour, will he be coming to a city or a town near you? Now that is something that I don't know much about right about now. I'm seeing different stories flying all over the place. Um, he's not being able to perform in Jamaica. He is doing a show in March in Trinidad. Don't know if he's gonna be able to come over here to the UK. Maybe Europe might be able to do a thing. I'm not sure, but it's most definitely needed to be seeing somebody like the man himself, Budger Banton, live and direct inside a city near you. So comment below wherever you're coming from, from around the world, which part are you and, and, and do you want to see 
Bojo Banton and Wen. So people, that's kind of like a general kind of like a wrap up of the thing. All I want to say is just big up yourself, Bojo Banton, Gargamel. He's definitely back on Jamaican soil. Time will tell what he's going to do with future projects, the music and everything else. But right about now, we're just glad that he managed to go through that whole situation and be able to come out and still looking so all we can do is just visually see we don't know what's in his mind right about now where he wants to go but visually looking at him he's in good health he's smiling he seems to be in good spirits and that is one of the main 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 issues we didn't want to see Budja Banton coming out mash up and 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 you know, we didn't want to see that. We wanted to see that energy right there. And the energy looked really, really good. He was taking photographs with people. He didn't go on no, no um, diva thing and come out of prison with some hood on and try and run to a limousine and jump and drive off and empty. He just walked through thing and it just like that, you know, but there. So Gargamel, Budger Banton, what can we say? All we can do right now is keep pushing his music. Keep listening to his, his music, what he's got right now, and, and, and all of the past music as well, because some of it is so, so relevant to what's going on in today's world. So it's a real, real good look right now. So I am so looking forward to what Budger Banton comes to and brings to the table in the reggae industry, considering how the end reggae industry is right now. A fantastic end of the year. The man himself, Budger Banton, is free on Jamaican soil could be coming to a city near you. Remember to subscribe, TV Sound System, yours truly, Selector Hype. We're gonna be coming with a few more things inside the new year. We kind of had a slow year. I was concentrating on the Sound System culture. A lot of things, especially inside the UK, wasn't really popping off that much, but we're gonna try and push and get you more, more in-depth interviews rather than filming events. So a lot of this stuff is gonna be about content interviews with some of the legends them especially over here inside the uk and we'll just talk up the things so you know what it is subscribe tv sound system select a hype i'm out one piece bojo free at last that we set boom